Hello, and welcome to Stemsational Ag, the virtual farm. We're so excited that you're here to take this opportunity to learn a little bit more about agriculture and the role that it plays in your life. This activity is brought to you in part through a grant from the United States Department of Agriculture and various entities at Middle Tennessee State University. We look forward to showing you all kinds of different fun ways that you can use STEM, ag, and other ways of learning in your everyday life. As you progress through this course, you will see the 12 individual modules. These include things about grains, dairy, chickens, and other various aspects of agriculture. Some are available now, others will continue to be added over the coming months. We encourage you to check back often to learn a little bit more about what's happening in agriculture today. To begin your course, you will need to click on the brief survey or welcome survey that is available through the announcements. As a part of this, you will also be asked to review the parental consent form, review in a written form or in audio form. Uh, the reason that these are available is because participants in this activity are ranging in age from kindergarten through 12th grade, meaning several are minors. And because of that, there has to be parental consent in order for students to participate in the activity. Please take a moment to review the parental consent form. And then when you complete the survey, it will ask you whether or not you have additional questions. If you do, please feel free to reach out to the individuals listed within the survey or at other points within this activity. After you have completed the survey, the 12 modules available will open up for you. Some have several topics available. Others don't have any available yet as a part of our ongoing effort to bring you new and innovative ways to view agriculture in today's society. All you will need to do to review any of these courses and activities is simply click on the module of interest. So let's begin with module one, cereal, thinking outside the box. We simply click on that. A new page will then pop up that shows us cereal, thinking outside the box. And then you will see that the one that is available is actually four ingredient baking. You'll also see the K through two. That means that this section is for grades K through two. Every single unit in every single module is broken down by grades level, whether that be K2, 3, 5, 6, 8, or 9, 12. Each of these grade levels has their own unit area and their own checklist of activities. Let's click on one of those checklists so that you can see what those look like. The checklist for this one, simply click on K2, four ingredient baking checklist. A new checklist pops up and it takes you through every single activity that you will need to complete this module and move forward within the activities. There are several videos as well as other resources and information. One thing to note and remember as you are looking through these checklists, these videos are brought in through various other open educational resources and Creative Commons licenses. When you click on a YouTube video that has been brought in, it may have an autoplay option on it. Please remember before moving on to a second video to pause or complete the first video or they could play at the same time, which could cause you a little bit of confusion. So please make sure to do that. We would edit this if we could, but we do not own these videos. So we are relying on the resources that are available through others. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the individuals within listed within the course. You may also, if you are having technical difficulties, let me show you how to get there. If you click on that table of contents or you click on content at the top, you will see a getting started module. In that, it lists some pretty basic information for you about the Stemsational Ag Farm. And then it also lists a 
description area and discussion area for instructor information. In this, there is a discussion box for need assistance, ask others. This is just open for conversation. Ask other parents, ask other teachers, ask others who might be participating in the class. There is also a sensational ag technology resources link. This will open up and provide you with some basic information as to how to use some of the resources within D2L. Um, please do remember as you are using these resources that sometimes updates happen and different things are made available. When that occurs, know that some things like the location of the insert stuff button may change. Right now, that looks like a YouTube video button. However, that may change as updates become available and it may look like the newer version that looks a little bit like the play button, the pause button, the record button, and the stop button lumped together in a group of four. If you see that change, don't freak out. It just means that your version is more updated than another one and updates are consistent when working with any kinds of technology. If you have other additional questions, don't forget to check things out on the course homepage where it will provide you with some additional information about how to contact Brightspace D2L if you are having technical questions. It's in that welcome announcement. You would simply click on it and a brand new email address will pop up. But just in case you need it and you don't see it, that email address is opencoursessupport at d2l.com. That's open courses support at d, the number two, l.com. We look forward to all of the things that are available within this class for you and getting to know you and learning from you and all of the great things that you're able to do with Stimsational Ag, the virtual farm.